the way my dad tells it, uh, he was sitting in class next to his professor, John Dodd. Uh, this was woodworking. And my mom walked in and asked if she could speak with the professor. And he saw her from across the way and thought she was so beautiful. He jumped out of his seat and ran across the room to shake her hand and said, Hi, I'm John Dodd. Just so he could talk with her right in front of the real John Dodd. This was at the Rochester Institute of Technology in 1988. They got married four years later on July 11th, 1992. Dad's a builder in every sense of the word. Uh, he started building skateboards when he was little. He's also really good at skateboarding. He went to school to be an engineer, um, but I think after a little while he realized he wanted to use his hands more, not just his head, and uh, so he became a woodworker. He wears suspenders every day. He uh, has a mole on his forehead that gives him superpowers. Um, you can always tell when he's spent too much time on the computer or has gone for a bike ride in a while. He likes to move. When he goes to work for lunch, sometimes he'll just bring a, a brick of cheese and a knife. I would walk into the shop every couple of days with a weird idea for something I wanted to build in, instead of buy, uh, usually with a sketch. And he'd, he'd drop everything. He'd drop his project and come pour over my drawing with me until we figured out how we were going to build it. As I got older, I'd still come to him with fully planned out ideas just to show him and, and see how he would have done it. I don't need help with the big machines anymore, but it just feels weird building stuff without him around. I spent a lot of time in the shop. Some of my fondest memories are covered in sawdust. She can drive now, so that's, that's weird. We, uh, we used to spend a lot of time in the woods. She's, she's not afraid to get dirty. When I picture her younger, she's sitting either in a creek or a tree. She spends a lot of time on Netflix now, but she could still beat the snot out of me in an arm wrestling contest as much as I hate to admit it. She's so determined. She works hard at anything she cares about. She teaches herself a rope, which I think is one of the most painful circus disciplines, but pushes on through bruises and cracked toes to create something that's really beautiful. The woods were a magical place for us when we were little. We used to climb trees during the summer and build jumps at the bottom of our sledding hill during the winter. We used to love just spending time with each other, and we still do, we just don't like to admit it. But she'll always be my best friend. Mom grew up in a barn that her dad turned into a house. She loves sheep. She's an artist stuck in a real estate agent's body, although she manages to find much artistry in that too. She's an artist. She's a, a photographer, a jeweler, a sewer, a knitter. Uh, she went to school for photography, but her last year realized there's so many more ways to make art. She says she took every class she could think of. I love looking back through her work from college. It's like looking into her younger mind, full of creativity and excitement at all these new ways to express herself. She loves things that people make for her. She would value a drawing that my sister and I did in second grade more than anything we could have ever bought for her. We jokingly call her our mothership, but it's true, without her, we would never be on time anywhere. Dad and I would never be able to find the ketchup behind the orange juice in the refrigerator. She holds us together. Sometimes I'll call her at school and just complain about all the things I have to do, but whenever I hang up, it'll always feel like it'll be all right. And everything will get done. Everything will happen one bite at a time, just like eating an elephant. She really holds me together.